Chapter 3. Little did I sleep. Don't want to be trapped in that city with bad men. Hack on, we're back. I was able to get about as many warriors from Strand as you wanted, and more weapons. Extra supplies, too. 100 varl. Whoa. You perk up, just now realizing Moger has been talking to you. Since Vogner died, everyone has been looking to you to make the decisions. It's exhausting. Hack on. Uh, I heard you. I was saying the varl we sent to Strand have returned. The governor gave us most of what we wanted. Good enough. Much resistance from the governor? Some. I don't think he was happy about us buying his fighters using his own money. He also insisted we take on a lackey of his to watch over his property. A man named Eirik. Eirik. I met him. He seemed to be competent enough. Regardless, the governor will have to get over it unless he wants Dredge crawling through his streets. We put down every slag that has wandered through here while you were gone. Enough flapping of mouths then. Oh, Ludin. How I missed you. You sure that wound has healed, Ludin? I agree. Enough has already gone wrong. If something happens to the prince on a mission of peace, the alliance would rot. Or worse. Hmm. Well, Wagner's dead. There's no reason to stay. Luden makes his own decisions. True, he's a prince, so we would only be uh, be made to do this again later. And I will not suffer it all a second time. Either take us through the wandering road, or do your job and slaughter some dredge. Ludin turns abruptly with a scowl. He stamps back to his ring of tents and followers. Wandering road's not an option with this many. I could crush that boy's skull with one hand. If Ludin won't be deterred, you'll have to deal with it. Don't let Ludin get to you. Let's go. I'm sick of looking at this dump. What do I tell the warriors, Hakon? Tell them to be cautious, no more losses. Tell them we cover the mountainside in dredged bodies. Tell them we don't stop until Schlid is retaken. Schlid, what is that? Tell them to be cautious. No more losses. We'll do. Give the word and we'll set off. So I guess these two caravans uh, are fated to meet somewhere. We have great morale in our camp. What's this? Heroes and uh, map, okay. Eirik. Who was the shield guy?
Mm-hmm. Let's talk to these guys first. Man. You knew him well, didn't you? Wagner? No, uh... Ah, well... I don't know, I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business. But I never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I did, in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Var listened. I knew that. I could use help there. The Scrivener le leans back, considering the sentiment. I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right Varl. Moger's got some skill there. Most I can do, do is hold a quill. What do you suppose happened to the sun? Gods, how should I know? Never seen something like this before. Are you worried? Some of the Varl in the caravan thinks the world is coming to an, to an end. Others think it's the best thing that could happen. No more black months. I'll take it. If it's the end, I'm ready. What about the rest of us? To the depths with you. Ha! Yeah, what are you always putting down in that journal? How do you mean? What do I write? I write what happens. They've got a banner in Arborang for that, you know. You mean the long banner? Yes. The Menders wove up something that writes its own history. You want my opinion? I don't trust it. No? It tells a broad story. I think there's some value in the narrow. Whose story does it write? Mine? Theirs? Ludens? Gods forbid. Ha, you relic. The gods have been dead a long time. Oh, have they? Old habits, I suppose. I heard you were a terror in your day. Do you know how old I am? <laughs> Dare I ask? I'm competing, you know. Nobody knows how old we Varl can get, naturally. There's one by the name of Snorri. He's got a few years on me, just hunkers in Grofheim, collecting rhyme. Bastard might actually beat me. Another one's named Krumer is close, I think, but the adult son of a bitch still welcomes a fight. He'll probably be offed before I am. Although... Scrivener gestures around him as if to remind you of the current situation. You chuckle. Anyway, point is, what difference does it make? I'm just a delivery bairn for Jorinder now. Can't remember half of what I've done. Hence the journal. Hence? Don't get fancy on my behalf, Hakon. Okay, I won't. Get some rest. Always more marching to do. I've hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. Hmm. So... Uh, nothing else to do then. 466 bar, well, and 65 days of supplies, that's crazy. Let's leave. Oh, there we go. More dialogue. I'd ask how you're dealing with Wagner's death, but I already know the answer. Do you? Steady old Mogur. Which is good. I know most of these Varl, but they're not under my command. They came to follow Wagner. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't want to be in your position either. In 
anything you can tell me about the caravan? Throw together this many varl, half of them want to hit each other. The rest want to be left alone. Anyone I should keep an eye on? There's a couple of clan leaders trying to show off for each other. Not a big deal, I've got it under control. The fighters we just got from Strand aren't bad, but they're unruly. Give it a few days. And there are a few moaning about fighting for you instead of Bogner. Those are the ones you need to worry about. What about Ludens, men? They don't want to hear anything from me. I know that. Any problems? Could be. Ludens' pet Varl is named Bercy. I'm not sure where he came from or what his deal is. Bastard knows how to fight, but there's something I don't like about him. Hmm. This girl in red is scary too, Ursa. She's probably the best fighter Ludin's got, to be honest. I've overheard some of the Varl call her the witch. Why? The flaming arrows, I think. It's a good trick, but the fire upsets our Varl more than the dredge. Still doesn't make much sense, witch. They're not scholars, Hakon. I think they're just mostly afraid of her. That makes more sense. Don't let her find out. <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to be in command? More than I am? Any more rope and I'd hang myself. I doubt that. I forget. You weren't around back then. At one point I had more rope. I hung myself. So no, I'm not interested in command. It's all yours. Thanks. You think we're walking into a death trap? This many Varl? No, we should be alright. Things could get rough though. I don't like being the one uh, to send Varl to their deaths. I like worrying about myself and that's the extent of it. Who would have expected Wagner to drop like that to a couple of slag? I'm still wondering what happened. He had hundreds of dead slag to his name. I don't get it. Just happens sometime. No big moment. I'm sure it surprised him even more than us. Although I have to wonder. Nah, never mind. Anyway, I'll worry about the warriors, you worry about not doing something stupid. That's asking a lot. What were you holding back about Wagner? I'd rather not say, Akon. Why not? It's the kind of thing that it gets stuck in your head and you need a clear one. It's better if you let me worry about it. Sounds important, tell me. How did Wagner die? He ran into Dredge. Wasn't expecting it. When we found him, he was li lying face down, like he was struck from behind. Did he really get taken down by some random slag? Who else was there? You think Luden? He probably didn't, but... Damn it. We should keep an eye on that bastard. If you see anything else, tell me. I will. Hmm. Backstabbing. Human son of a bitch. Let's get back to it. Let me know if you need anything else. I will. Right. So, let's get on our merry way, I guess. Look at that, says Moger. In the hills, more dredge. 
No more than a dozen, though. Could just as easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. Ludin overhears. That's a dozen dredge heading towards Strand, he says. You ask him uh, when he started to care about Strand. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. It'd be a waste of time. Strand can handle that. We'll deal with it ourselves. Guess we could use some combat experience. Hmm. We'll deal with it ourselves. The caravan stops and waits while you lead a small detachment up the hillside to take care of the dredge quickly. Tell Luden to stay by the caravan. He folds his arms and mutters something about being treated like a child. Yeah. Let's see. Quite a few, actually. Seems a bit unnecessary. How far can they run? Guessing about that far. Maybe. Wait a second, he wants to be the one in the, in the middle, right? Let's see. I'm just gonna stay back here, I think. Rest. Hmm, I forgot he's not the shield guy, he's the guy with lots of willpower. I'll just rest and wait for them to come to us, I guess. It's actually quite a bunch of dredge. Lots. I could run up there and smash him. Might actually not be such a bad idea. Sundering impact.
is spreading out. <laughs> this long stream is really cutting into my Dark Souls progression. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, you are allowed to, to go play Dark Souls. Uh, you can always catch up on the VOD if, you, if you're feeling curious about what happened. <laughs> there we go. Stop being so interesting. Yeah, I know. It's hard. So, doesn't he have a uh, bring the pain attack so we can actually break damage to target plus one to return the favor? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's use that on this guy. Uh, this dude is actually going to be in the back uh, reinforcing our willpower when we need it. Two out of four. I think we're gonna do that. Rally him. Thanks. So now we should be able to do a sundering impact on one of these guys on the. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Sundering impact. Plus 100% hit, plus one strength, plus one break to target. Should actually do damage to this guy as well, right? I hope it's only to enemies, otherwise this guy is going to get clobbered as well. Vicious grunt. There we go. Hmm. So he doesn't have much. Uh, we could actually walk here and do a sweeping attack on these guys. Tempest. That's a decent idea, right? Nice. Ooh, one armor damage. He's up next. Could do five damage to him. Could completely ruin his armor. Let's ruin his armor, I think. Oh, yeah, of course he attacks him instead. Hmm, you can still give willpower, right? Who needs it? Three of four, four of three. We still have lots. Nobody needs it. Move your uh, butt into combat instead. Right. Very dramatic music, suddenly. Seven damage to him. Really like to get a nice slam on two of them, but it seems to be. Uh, I thought it was going to be a big benefit to have uh, Varl that take up four spaces, but it's actually really difficult navigating or like getting in the throng of battle. Okay, 
like this, so we're gonna smash you. Eight points. Enjoy. Deflect, nice. Now, two, three. We should be able to... Kill those two. Tempest or these two. So I can take these two. Nice. Oops. He could walk up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting willpower because I'm killing enemies, so that's why I never need to recharge on willpower. So actually, let's just run up to him and kill him. Good. Now I have to be able to slam these guys. Power bomb. Everybody's going for him. Um, I could take two of them out, but then I would be in trouble. Actually, and they're spread out, so I can only take one. Let's move actually out of combat range. And uh, that guy's probably gonna follow us, right? Prick. Hmm. Was well, not so smart as I thought. You can just follow and do free damage. Two damage or three armor damage. Actually, no, wait, I don't know. Three armor damage it is. Stupid enough to attack my shield carrier. Like 
awesome. So now we should be able to get in a nice hit on this guy. Damage his armor a bit. Oh yeah, now we're blocking again. Crap. Anyway. Is he reading the dialogues? Uh, I am reading uh, dialogues. I'm not putting on my best Scandinavian accent though when I'm doing it, but. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Gunnolf uh, was a bit injured. Tempered by blood and pain. Sometimes I do voices, it's... Uh, I can't help myself. Uh, I will stay a while and listen. Yeah, you're very welcome to do that. Hack on. You can hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak as equals? <laughs> as equals is a giant. We can try. It seems clear to me you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way, am I right? You're not wrong. Then listen carefully. Don't assume only the Varl can fight, do you understand me? That is my banner we fly to Grofheim, the banner of Arberang. I assist on joining the battle. I almost gutted you in your first encounter and ready for more. Whatever you like, Prince. And, uh, uh, I expected more resistance. From Wagner, maybe. They tell me you were his kender. That's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin, Varl thing. Uh, don't you take on his responsibilities? In my own way. Quite a tough act. Then stop acting like I'm a thorn in your side. When you're nearly 200 years, it's hard to take a 20-year-old man. Mm, it's hard to take a 20-year-old man, is that right? Seriously. Oh, okay. It's hard to take a 20-year-old man, is that right? Seriously. You better start. We'll both be kings someday. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. Ludin looks at, uh, at you as though you just punched yourself in the face. <laughs> he heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. I thought I treated him with decent respect. Uh, on exertion. You've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important stat. Yes. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading 3 exertion lets you add 3 damage to every attack or move 3 spaces further than usual if you've got the willpower for it. Remember, each stat is equally important in combat. Choose wisely. I've actually been upgrading exertion and armor break. I think that's pretty good. Heroes. We got some archer, red archer woman. 
Ursa. Percy. Three days, Gunnolf's injured. Hmm. Promote? Why not? Uh, yeah, five renown to promote. Fine. This guy can defend and kind of uh, you know take a lot of damage. He can tank, so it's pretty good actually if he can. Uh, break some armor as well so let's do what we did before we increase armor break and exertion maybe actually has hmm, break plus one attack and plus two is return the favor no that's not worth it moger Mogur's an old hand in Varl culture, long on the front line of the fight against the Dredge. He's had the occasional brush with leading a clan of his own, but eventually settled down into, the command into commanding Wagner's personal army of Varl warriors, and is highly respected among them. He is pretty useful. Eirik. Eirik, let's see. Yeah, why not? Grant an ally for willpower. Rally allows him to grant willpower to allies from anywhere in battle. Yeah, that is pretty good. Can we increase that though? No. Hmm. I'm thinking, can you uh, save up on these points? So if I uh, upgrade him to rank 3, I can... Probably I can, right? Maybe that's worth uh, trying out. Hack on. Plus one strength and plus one break to heavy impact. Hmm. Well, we do have a support character with lots of willpower boost, so let's increase exertion and let's increase strength. Saving doesn't do much, you'll just get four points and that's that. Yeah, but I need more points to upgrade uh, his um, special ability, right? I can promote again. Cool. Let's check out the others first. Ten, okay. Yeah, why not? So that's pretty nice. Then we could actually think about increasing defense for him. Hmm, or armor, I guess. It's called. Attack is the best defense. Gunnulf. Doesn't have any exertion. That's not so good. I want to have the option to, to use that. The ability upgrade come only at set levels. You can't upgrade with points. All right. In that case, uh, there's not much point of saving it. Did factions have the same system? Uh, because um, 
this game only was only released you know, like yesterday. I haven't uh, read the read the manual or anything so. But I was thinking about playing factions, but then I never had the time for it. Unfortunately, let's see. Nice. Siege Archer. Interesting. What does that do? Armor break plus zero. The Siege Archer throws a five tile area of slag onto the ground which explodes immediately. Targeted tile takes the damage seen below. Adjacent units take two strength damage. It also leaves randomly placed burning coals on unoccupied tiles. If targeting an empty tile, coals always appear on the center tile first. Walking over the burning coals causes one strength damage. I just got that info from reading up on level ups and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I literally had no time to, to read up. <laughs> I just got straight into the game this morning. Um, interesting. Siege Archer. A spear Master. Yeah, it really has a useful... Um, no, the, okay. Who is that? No, it was the shield guy that died, unfortunately. He had a really useful skill. Could basically tank damage for a whole round. Percy, who is this? Uh, Warhawk. Yeah, hits up the th two enemies. So I guess we're gonna replace Gunulf with Bercy for now. So I can talk with both these characters. Let's uh, do that. Ursa, right? She watches you approach with her, uh, with her held tilted back, with her head tilted back, and points a thumb toward Luden's tent. Tent. Nope. Here for you. Uh oh. Can we talk? Ursa shakes her head. No. Smile on her lips. Eyelids low. Why not? I don't. In those two curiously contradictory words, you get the two impressions. Uh, she has a beautiful obsidian voice. And this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you expectantly. You don't talk. No. You do, though. I don't. <laughs> she smiles warmly, clearly enjoying her game. She watches you expectantly. You know that axe he has there? He can put it through your skull, okay? It's probably bigger than you. Come on. You're Luden's bodyguard? No, he's mine. Before you have the chance to be confused, she cackles abruptly and loud, then looks slightly embarrassed. You are his personal guard, though. Her expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Luden? Luck. It's about the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Varl and fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them... She pulls an arrow. There's a flick of the wrist. You don't quite catch. Suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you and falls to the ground, smoldering. Half the camp has turned to watch. Great. Don't tell me not to. She watches you expectantly. 
<laughs> who wrote my wife into this game. <laughs> uh, well, this has been fun. She crosses her arms, a hand on her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Until next time, Irsa. Hack on. You stop and look over your shoulder. I'm a witch, so be careful. She puts her forefinger to her lips with a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. Except that you still can put that axe through her skull. Uh, whenever you want to. Let's talk to Bursi and hope he's not quite such an asshole. You have a moment. As you approach Bursi, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book reading type. You're Bursi. You're Hakon. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? I have some questions. Say what you want to say. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends what you mean. Whose back will you have if things go wrong? Assume I'm looking out for myself and you'll figure it out. Does Luden understand that? Luden doesn't even understand that half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. You laugh at the unexpected gouge. Percy grins, pleased with himself. What do you want to know? What's a Varl doing working for Luden? What's a Varl doing working for another Varl? What difference does it make? It looks like you're in charge right now, so do me a favor and don't get Luden killed. Is it important to you? No. That's one way to put it. Uh, where'd you learn to fight? Same way as you. By fighting. You know what I mean. Uh, I robbed well-protected merchants for at least uh, one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Not anymore. I've had a lot of jobs. Well, I won't keep you any longer. See you on the battlefield, O oh leader of Varl. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Luden alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there was a bit of a threat behind that gravelly request. Hmm. Yeah, everybody seems to be getting along just fine in our little camp. So, right. Uh, before I leave, I'm just gonna take a really quick break, get some water. Uh, I'll be right back, so um, like one minute.
Our camp has too few, a few too many badasses in it, I think. Yeah, or too many hard asses. Everybody seems to really like getting under each other's skin. So, uh, right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's leave. Get going. Uh, you overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to stomp some slags as much as the next barl, but I didn't join up to take orders from Hakon, says one. Apparently it doesn't realize you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him either. <laughs> Blindside him. Make your presence known, but walk on. Do I have to fight them? Threaten them loudly. Not sure Wagner would have been happy to hear that. You growl loudly. The barn flinches as you walk past without looking his direction. In the distance you can hear his friend laughing at his misfortune. Yeah. A uh, small gathering of tents come into view, uh, a group of merchants from the look of it, who ask what they're doing here. We were camped out at the godstone ahead, one tells you, leaving an offer offering to Dengler, as one does, his expression turns. Dredge start appearing out of nowhere, some of us stayed, thought the godstone be safe, but damned if I know why, we've been dodging them since we left. Ask if they have anything to trade. We don't have much renown. Not much, he replies. Any, anything of value we left at the Godstone. I've never seen this many varl in one place before. You're off to deal with those dredge? You nod. We could part with some supplies if you need them. Actually, we have enough. Keep them. As you like. If you're passing Dengler, uh, Dengler Stone, I have a request, though. My wife's brother stayed behind. You'll know him by the necklace with many gold rings. If you see him, say we are safely in Strand. You agree and the merchants continue onward. Several days to Strand. It's not sure you're safe. Caravan slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line and then to Moger, who tells you. Dredge, now we're coming. Probably saw us back at Vaderfell, and uh, did their usual lurking. Could have been bad if we'd plodded into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watch you, waiting to see what you do. When's the last time you commanded a few hundred, hack on? asks Moger. Don't overthink it, the warriors can take care of themselves. War. When you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you'll engage in war. Give your army orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hands dirty too. By making battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties. Or you can take burden on yourself with a harder battle but save more lives. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run, avoiding battle completely. Got it. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. Okay, you take a quick headcount. There must be at least 490 of them. That's pretty precise. You have 185 fighters and 466 barl at your side.
Even from here you can see nervous glances along the enemy's ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. What's over see? Yeah, let's just charge. Charge! Charge! You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of battle where fighting is most dangerous, but a strong charge can save lives. Oh yeah, rush into battle, that's what we do. <laughs> you gather your allies and tell them to get ready to lead the attack. <laughs> Gunulf is still injured, so... Percy will have to uh, stand in for him. Let's see how many enemies we have to face. Right. What do we have here? Not too many, but pretty powerful, these guys. Dredge Stone Guard. Shield slam costs knock back to all adjacent units. Tremble. The Scourge uses his weapon to summon an ally. I don't like that they're surrounding us like this, but okay. We don't have a choice to deploy. Okay, yeah, we do. So, she's gonna be there, I guess. Hmm. That's a heavy impact guy, okay. Pretty similar, these Varl. Difficult to see who's who. Let's see. Uh, so we get the first first move. These guys can't reach us. So let's go kill this guy before he can do anything. Actually, this guy can attack us. Hmm. It's not so good. completely blocked the battlefield here. But we could run and just one shot this guy. Or take this guy down a bit a notch or two. We have to use two willpower and then we can use three willpower. To take him down nine damage, that's pretty good. We 
just kill him. And then he can barely reach us. And then we can do it. Let's do that. Keep together a bit. Oh, he could reach us. Crap. Hmm. Or maybe he used uh, willpower actually to reach us there. Hmm. He could reach this guy. It would be better to put him here, I guess. We walk there, we should be able to make pretty quick work of this guy. Seven damage. Spear dude. Can I actually sneak up and take him out there? She could move back and maybe we'll try that special ability of hers. Uh, slag and burn. Okay. Not exactly how large an area that will be, but... Uh, let's see. Hopefully not too large. Actually a bit too, too small. Ah, oh, come on. Fifteen attack, are you kidding me? That has got to go. So what can I use him for? He can dart in, I guess, and attack him from behind after. Is there anyone who needs willpower right now? Everybody has willpower, right? Plus one strength, plus one break. Uh, 
So I could run down here. Attack him. I have to get his armor down. Can only lower the armor by two. That sucks. Oh, okay. Thanks. to move. How far can he move? can actually move up to this guy. Moger. Attack him. Can't impale. Uh, unfortunately, can't impale from the side there. Uh, three are damage to armor, or two damage to four damage to health. Let's do that. Ouch. Wow, her range is horrible. Wouldn't exactly mind her being taught a lesson, uh, but uh... Yep, pissed him off. I find the witch to be absolutely useless. Yeah, so far me too. I didn't have anyone else to... Uh, my other guy was wounded, so... Hmm... They're just gonna st uh, keep on wailing on that guy, so it's no point. Just break his armor down so we can one-shot him. The enemy is always a voice to call, so if anything, it just buys time. Yeah, everybody's like ganging up on one one uh, poor sod here. So, six attack. Uh, not so wonderful. Actually, wait. Sundering impact. next. Uh, yeah, okay, then we better take his strength out of it. Well, now he starts doing his 
summoning thing there, yeah. 11-11, hmm. Uh, could have gone better, this. I have 40% chance to actually harm him. Two armor damage and then hope that uh, Prince Ludin can do some damage to him. I don't know. Maybe he can. Uh. Whoops. We're screwed. Prince Ludin, we need you. <laughs> the game is a lesson in how good things can go bad so quick. Much to my frustration, love of the game, yeah. Well, uh, I think that's, uh, you know... As long as it's fair. And turn-based games are usually pretty fair, I mean, it's... Maybe if you fail to work out the mechanics, you don't... Uh, sure how, how the battle mechanic worked. Can make a mistake. See, so who's the next guy to attack? That guy. He only has six attack. If we walk up to this guy, can't we impale him? Like let's try that. We haven't used impale I think. Oh, great, that allowed him to uh, <laughs> to walk up to. Oh, that was a mistake, but uh, we didn't know that. We're gonna run away with her, I guess. She can use the wonderful burning coals here. Yeah. Bursi gets knocked out. Uh, we have to take care of this guy. Before he's summoning. He's finished. Seven health. A sign of a good game, yeah. Can do six damage without any willpower. We have one willpower, so we should be able to finish him off there. Nice. <laughs> No more summons for you. Oh shit. Next up is this guy. Can actually kill him. him attack us. I don't know. Maybe it's actually more important to get these guys down. Lower attack. Or lower shield in this case. Lower armor. He doesn't do much damage, does he? <laughs> one damage. Lame. Two armor, one damage. Who's the next guy who can attack? Prince Ludin with his five armor. He's pretty vulnerable. 
Oh yeah, wait, we have uh, lots of renown ore that we can use. Hmm. Morale boost, extra energy. Let's do that. Luden is usually hit like a truck, yeah. There we go. Wow. Hmm. Now the question is, do we kill him? Ah, uh, we can't. They're in the way. Damn it. It's in the way. Yes, I could knock him back. No, I can't. I have to be... Hmm. Let's do four damage to him. Ouch. Luden, why? Ah, so the witch is proving to be pretty useless. Yes. That guy has got to go down. So let her run up here and... Uh, oh yeah, she can't use... Uh, wow, she's useless. there and uh, who's next he is six six it's gonna actually it's mm, gonna knock Luden out ouch it's not so good should probably have uh, thought twice about charging into battle We should just use her as a tank, yeah. Yeah, she can be in the first wave there. So... I can do 5 damage to him. But that won't exactly kill him. Or I could use my... Ah, I can't use my special. Ah, awesome. Great. That makes my job deciding things much easier if I just don't have any options. Four attack, so I can kill him. Uh, example. I think that's what we're gonna do. Saving the day right now. Wow. <laughs> Useless range on these bows. They're supposed to be long range weapons, right? Oh, wait, we had one. Uh He is still, uh, what's his name, Moger is still uh, holding the fort here. And he can tank like a boss too, so I think we're okay. Uh... Those deflects, got them 
three in a row now, I think. So six damage to him or four damage to him. We can actually do five damage to him, so let's do that. So wait a second, don't we have a Tempest now, heavy impact. Unfortunately we don't have any, any energy to use it, so... Might as well, uh, actually let's kill this guy because... 90% chance to get him. Nice. And he did one damage to the enemy who was adjacent. Nice. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. <laughs> I have a feeling you will be happy about the range when you end up fighting them. Bows, that is, yes. That's true. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items they took from previous victims. Uh, I would save up the willpower if you see. You can see he will survive this attack anyway. Yeah. Well, I thought the battle was over, but apparently... We should have um, saved our party a bit and chased them down. Yeah, thank you, Snarfin. We survived, I guess. That's all you can ask. Uh... Gotta get the fuck out. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by, trip friend. Uh, I will probably be playing uh, the Banner Saga tomorrow also, and then Friday I will be back Dark Souls. So, uh, yeah, have a good one. Kill a few more as they flee. Uh, whew, I wonder if my party heals uh, or not, if I pursue them. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit... Nah, we can't take the risk, right? Pull back before they regroup. The dredge give you a wide berth and scatter into the distance. Kills, win bonus, clan spend lost. How can we lose 8 Varl and 3 fighters? Right. Doesn't heal, yeah. In that case I just made the right decision then. Number two literally spawns more enemies, great. Uh, Ludin has been sending scouts ahead, quicker and more nimble than your Varl. One rushes back just as you cross the hilltop out of breath. Dredge! That direction, you overhear him tell Ludin. About a day away, they found a village. <laughs> yeah, the second wave is for you when you rip through them easy, yeah. Exactly, more challenge. We'll see. Uh, you ask what they're doing. Tearing the place apart, he says. Maybe a thousand of them, or more, looking for God knows what. This will be a bigger fight than usual. Uh, Luden is uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Draw some of them forward and split them. Wait and see what they do. Uh, let's draw some of them forward and split them. 
Let's see if that works. You send a small group of shield bangers to get their attention. They do. Half a day later, many dredge are giving up, giving chase up the hill in their plodding sort of way. You get ready to lay waste. Um, I can't see if my party is in any good shape or not. Ah. Anyway, dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. You t uh, take a quick head count. Must be at least 510. Crap. Even from here you can see nervous glances among the enemy's ranks. Ugh, formations. Let's see if we can get a little bit less of our... It starts comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account the terrain, morale and the look of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. Yeah, give the order. You start rallying your forces and gather your allies to you, preparing to enter the fray. Right. Minus one strength in battle. That doesn't mean much. It's much better than having the witch. So we can still use them actually, nice. In that case we want these guys to be pretty early on actually in the battle. He will be last. Right. I like how they're singing a, a lament for for the impending doom that we're facing. Yeah, this doesn't seem like this seems like a bit easier battle. So, yeah, probably lose more men in the end. But um. okay, so we don't really have a choice of how to deploy, right? Probably have the Tempest guys in the center though. Ah, we can't change order of battle. Ah. Right, let's get ready. He's not gonna be able to move all the way there, so let's run up to this guy and knock him, knock him out. Wait, 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 wait. I have to leave space for for him. I thought all your guys would be walking games at moment. No, only one guy was actually injured. shield being bashed, sir. Ah, I thought I could actually um, run up there with this guy. Not gonna happen. He could do it. Hmm. We're gonna have to do the best we can there. So I'm gonna run over here and uh, knock him out. Nine damage to him. That would be pretty sweet. But honestly, eight damage to him is even better. Oops, wait a second. Can he reach me now? 
Oh. Prepare to get one shotted, sir. Same thing with this guy. Uh, should be able to one shot him, alright. Keep out of his range. Yep. Beautiful. Of course he finds find some opening there. Up here we can deal seven damage to him. And we should be able to, f yeah, yeah, good. Everybody ganks up on him, which actually I don't mind that much. He is next, he doesn't have anything. So we're gonna walk up here and engage this guy. Fifteen attack, unfortunately. Actually, we like that. Of course, ganging up. Ganging up is the name of the game. Oh crap! I just blocked myself. Bad, bad decision. Fortunately, this guy doesn't have any any willpower, so he won't be able to uh, kill him in one blow. But still, that was bad. Really crappy, actually. Let's run up here so we can at least get around. Next round. Ooh, nice deflect. But now we don't really have any any stamina left here. We should probably try to get away. Not gonna be able to help out there, so. I run over here, can they follow me all the way? I probably can, right? Uh, I don't know. Can't see that. How many squares they can move. Let's just do the damage we can while we're... Still able to. One shot this guy. Hmm. 
Mm hmm So, spear bro. You're not gonna be in time. Damage, three damage, three damage. It's Moger's turn. Down here, I should be able to. Uh, do three damage to him or three defense damage. Hmm. That would lower his attack considerably, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, they're not so dumb. They're really maneuvering, <laughs> maneuvering around me. I can't get this guy into position. Wow. It's actually gonna knock him out. Luden, what are you doing? kept to your side of the board. I think they're getting a really unfair advantage at getting lots and lots of turns that they shouldn't have. We outnumber them. Guess we could impale him. That was nice. Knock him down. Kill him or do three damage to him. I found the more enemies you kill, the more initiative works against you. Yeah, exactly, that's the system they have. It's a bit, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Not so fair, maybe. If I move here, this guy is not going to get a chance to hit again. to do it to save Luden. Oh yeah, now he starts his lame summoning there. 3-3 three, three or 7-4. Actually, maybe no, you can't hit, hurt him, so... Finish you off. Finally... Percy can get into... Into the melee here. Hmm, you take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back. Nice, nice. 
you could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat. Uh, on the other hand... Wow, I don't even remember. Uh, so another wave or just pull back. Luden was really close to going down. But the rest of my... Yeah, kill a few more. We can take another one. Another... Or actually, we don't have a lot of... Oh, man. Is the second wave just as hard as the first? That's the question. In that case, we will be doing a really bad mistake. Uh... We don't have a lot of willpower left. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna push it. Not today. Thirty-one barrel killed. Crap. One injury. It's usually last thing can still be hard, yeah. Uh, hmm. I could probably do it, but... Uh... Right, so, what's the time? It's actually, yeah. We'll see, I'm gonna press on a little further, maybe half an hour more or so, and then uh, I I think I'm gonna call it a day. Have some things I have to do. With the village still a day away, you're eating on the march. Val approaches. We had uh, words earlier, says Chris. You recall him claiming that he didn't care for your command. You were right in what you did. Let me join your guard and fight at your side. Pride hangs on his posture and sincerity in his eyes. You've got one shot. I'm probably gonna get assassinated by this guy, but uh, I'm not gonna say get out of my face or be like lame to him somehow. you got one shot. You tell him to report to Moger. I don't sit in the back lines. Make a mistake and you'll get your head caved in. Nobody lose sleep over it. He nods and goes to speak with Moger. Cool. Survived 16 days. You're close enough to hear dredge rattling through the buildings below. Pull them out of the houses, Smoger suggests. Slag just can't resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in an open field. Some village, I guess. Uh -huh. One last fight for today, I think. Send your shield bangers forward to get their attention. Before long, the dredge have gathered ready for a fight. Ah, oh, come on, I didn't think there was an army. Take a quick head count. There must be at least 463. Hmm. Man. It's like a campaign. Uh, formations. Give the order. Start rallying your forces and gather your allies. Preparing to enter the fray. Minus two strength in battle. Gris. I guess that's uh, the new guard. So the question is, do I put him in the fight? Instead of Luden, or do I replace Gunolf, who is actually injured, minus two strength? Hmm. Uh, 
Luden's not gonna like that, but uh, we're gonna go all Varl today. Except Eirik, but he's a rat, so no humans. Yeah, doesn't hang about with this fight once it gets going. Yeah. Three of the tough guys. Uh, okay. Could actually back off a bit. Gris. Uh, nice. It's a... Oh, he has battering ram. I see. Hmm. Let's actually move back and see um, if we can get them to commit to some stupid... Uh, He's not gonna be able to get out from here. Put them there instead. Right. I think we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna rest here. Bang our shield a bit. Where can you move? You can move there. Nice. But yeah, positioning these Varl is a bit of a nuisance actually. He could actually run up and uh, smack him in the face. No, we're gonna be patient this time. We're gonna keep our distance. We can get the first strike in next turn. gets to move before I do. Let's not block anyone here. We're gonna move up there. Hmm. Initiative system not quite as I ex thought it was. 16, uh, 16 armor.
Bring the pain. Can do five damage to him. Six damage with uh, some extra exertion. Do that actually. Actually, no, I don't have. Yeah, yeah, I have exertion. Nice. Or a tempest. Could damage him. Tempest doesn't work. If he deflects it. Hmm. Should have guessed. So now Percy is getting clobbered instead. I think I'm just gonna go down and one-shot this guy. Uh, and get him out of the fight. And this guy's just getting free moves. Battering ram, yeah, I guess I could, but... Get your damage down to acceptable levels. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna have to do some damage to him. He's knocked down. No point in using Tempest here. Three damage. I think we got him actually. Uh, could one shot this guy next to move so let's do that Ooh, we're gonna move there right ah. to summon four damage <laughs> probably he goes to summon as well no okay 
And we're stuck in the corner. Great. Awesome. Well done. What we get, I guess. It's a rest. So, how about using some of that extra willpower and uh, killing this guy? Actually, got a summon off. Hmm. I am disappointed. He's getting free attacks again. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know if I like the system with the free attacks. Um, really uh, getting an advantage of having a small group. Uh, not used to it anyway, so I haven't had time to think about it. Use an extra, yeah, great. I'm gonna block him again, of course, great. Should have thought about that, probably. The eternal block. Also, if you kill a guy in initiative, the next in line takes his place, yeah. Not your guys. Hmm. Yeah, that's worth thinking about. Keep in mind. He's gonna get an extra attack for no reason. That's kind of the point, though, in, uh, in turn-based combat that you're supposed to work out, you know, what to say, so you get an advantage with the turns. Now he's just wailing away at my guy who has absolutely no chance to fight back because it's not his turn. It's a bit lame. He's just gonna follow me if I run, so... Next in line is this guy. He's not gonna have a chance to run up here and, and hit him. So it's, uh, yeah, there's no way to get out of that situation here. It's pretty lame. <laughs> I found getting everyone to one hit point and then killing them off better, yeah. Yeah, exactly, I'm also uh, used to, like, the old, old UFO at least. Uh, that's the turn-based game of choice for me. Now he's gonna instantly get a new attack here. Nice. Only when there's one enemy left do we get to do consecutive turns. Well, uh, just takes a while getting used to it. Take a moment to survey the battlefield, yes. We're not gonna fight again. Pull back. Two injuries, hmm.
bodies blanket the area as though the snow itself had turned black and red. You walk between clusters of survivors taking account of your warriors. Eventually across paths with uh, Mogur. This was a tough one, he says. Hope we don't face worse the further we go, but this could be a hint of things to come. You nod. Let's check out that village. The wounded are gathered and you head toward what is left of the village ahead. Okay, are we gonna do that? Yes. Nice. Uh, you wander through the small village, uh, where there had been the cacophony of battle before, and now an eerie silence hangs over the place. Bodies of dredge and villagers make a macabre path to the houses that have been ripped apart as if by a tornado. Yursa stops in her tracks. Hear that? She all but whispers. It sounds like crying. Soon you discover a trap door partially hidden by a carpet. <laughs> Leave it. Nice. Open the hatch. A woman's scream dies in her throat at the sight of a varl instead of a dredge. Uh, men and women both are huddled together. A baby cries on her mother's shoulder. They are clearly awed to see so many warriors. What do we do now, they ask. Go to Strand, we'll clear the way. Go to Strand, we'll send escorts with you. Yeah, that's a question. You know, I need my fighters. Uh, go to Strand, we'll clear the way. <laughs> I hope. They give you worrying looks, but eventually begin gathering their things. Think they'll make it? asks Mogur, doubt in his voice. You don't know, but uh, trying has got to be better than starving to death in a pit. Indeed. Eirik watches. I almost feel guilty about this, he says. I know Strand. Even if they make it in one piece, the locals will tear them apart. Not literally, of course, but, well, maybe literally. I might join them. Uh, well, Eirik is a bit useful, but... Um, thin excuse to run home, Eirik. Go if you wish. Then I will, he says. He throws on his pack and soon catches up the refugees. Yeah. Prick. So, I guess we got lots of promotion to do. Ludin, you're back in the squad. Congratulations. Hack on. Fifteen uh, renown for an increase. Well, let's check it out first here. Chris Luden. We have a market actually. Stamp symbolizing a chieftain's will, passed down from father to son, and kender to kender. Plus one will per turn. Ooh, an enormous fishing hook thought to be from the legend in which the Varl King Skrimmer pulled a whale from the silver stone. Plus two armor break, that's really good I would say. Uh, definitely want that, that one. Four supplies available, great. Plus one will per turn, it's pretty good too. But who is going to use it? Yeah, it was a bit of a... K 
tower there. Moger is actually uh, doing most of our shield breaking job or armor breaking. Strong man. Gris, the model war warrior. Gris doesn't have much distinction to his name and, and little influence on the politics of war. But he's a warrior through and through, having fought in every great war and killed countless dredge and men alike. Dependable when he's not shooting his mouth off. Mm. Yeah. He had a knockback and do armor damage. Moger, can you use that fishing hook? Yes. It's pretty good. Promote hack on. Yeah. So now our Sundering Impact is upgraded. Well, maybe upgrade his defense actually. Ooh, I can promote him again. Wow. That's a question. Isn't there anything else we... Don't have a lot of items for these guys. Our other party has more items. Plus one willpower. Yeah, it's useful, but promotion is probably more useful, I think. Three of three, yes. There we go. Does the hook stack with any shield break? Yeah, I don't know. It would be really nice if it hook, uh, if it stacked with uh, shield bash. That would be pretty awesome. We can try it uh, next. We can give it to Gris, and he can use it. Battering ram. I think probably it's a bit, uh, must be ranked too. Okay, crap. We'll try it when uh, when he can use it. But probably it only uh, works for um, when you're actually targeting armor in a normal attack. Uh, that makes I would make the most sense out of a balance uh, aspect, I guess. So we only have one renown left. But uh, yeah, that's I think is a pretty good um, place to uh, to end uh, this first session of the Banner Saga. It was definitely interesting, a change of pace from uh, from playing Dark Souls. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy the tactical combat. Uh, I'm uh, Like I said, I'm not used to the system of uh, <laughs> giving the, the losing side more and more turns. But uh, apart from that, uh, I really enjoyed the, the battle mechanics. So there's definitely some depth that you can explore there. So yeah, really nice game and awesome, awesome graphics and uh, you're getting kind of uh, more and more into the plot here as well, so nice. No, thanks for watching. Uh, I play uh, every regular weekday, so Monday to Friday. 
I normally stream between 7 a.m. Uh, universal coordinated time and 11. Uh, today I'm doing a longer stream and it happens sometimes I do a longer stream. So yeah, feel free to, to follow me if you if you like the content. Uh, I am currently on uh, my main game that I'm playing is Dark Souls, my first playthrough. And uh, I think I have like 25 hours or 22 hours or something like that in Dark Souls. But tomorrow I'm going to be continuing with this game. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be switching back to Dark Souls on Friday, so... But tomorrow... We'll pick up the saga where we left off here. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you have uh, an awesome day, and uh, hope to see you back on the stream sometime.